Previously on Shutdown Fullback. Game shows. Oh, game shows! Game shows! Game shows! Hey, everybody, welcome to Fullback. Hey! Is that a real penis? Oh, you better believe it is. What? Hey, it's a real penis. Suspense. Oh my god, what's gonna happen on this week's episode of Shut Down Fullback? We'll probably talk about football. Moving okay. forward, let's go ahead and talk about UNC. Or you said football, sir. So, TCU lawsuit, the Big East. So in TCU, who was in the Big East for about 18 seconds. Yeah, so in other words, this is really about that one night stand we never had, but we should have had, but you gave me the number, but you left, and you didn't meet me in the hotel room. I mean, and... honestly, TCU can't even remember being in the Big East. I mean, it, it was probably during that one summer. Eyes, the... eyes are all bloodshot. I mean... Or frog. Elsewhere, Maryland football, Randy Etzel being publicly defended by Under Armour. Yeah, reminder, Kevin Plank, CEO, prominent Maryland donor, had the chance to, ha to hire Mike Leach, chose instead to hire Randy Etzel for the benefit of the university, and uh, now the university is closed, there is no football team, and College Park, Maryland is a barren wasteland swarming with feral dogs, broken glass, and broken dreams. So while Jay-Z is planking on a million, Randy Etzel is planking on Kevin Plank, and Maryland's gonna lose every game this year. With that, a reminder that Randy Edsel, if he were a game show host, he'd be Bob Barker because woof. Hey, <laughs> hey, let's change clothes! Whoa! Whoa! So while let's talk about game shows and playoffs and such, I think one thing we need to realize is that college football pretty much already is a game show. Yes. Uh, fixed in many cases, uh, with definite set rules, with hosts who serve no purpose. With the cast of competitors chosen beforehand to weed out those who we don't want them on camera. At theme music, mascots, and ladies who sit on the side and just sort of look picturesque and occasionally cheer things on. Also, you've seen the show Wipeout. It's actually an oral history of the wax. Yes, and like the wax, soon to be canceled. Sorry, John Anderson. No. UCLA is obviously making the band, not because Diddy's Kid is involved, but because nobody's watched it since 2005. It was a good show. Uh, supermarket Sweep. That's either A, Michigan State after a victory, or just Nick Saban recruiting the state of Georgia. Ooh. The Bachelor. This time starring Craig James, not Jesse Palmer. And ladies, do not accept that rose! <laughs> no. Survivor, Maryland. Please, God, someone vote me off the island. Yeah, you know that Japanese game show that ends with five guys in diapers eating shrimp off of somebody's toes? Uh, you may not, but Lane Kiffin does. That people eating virus thing, it's it's yeah, kind of no, like no, Tennessee. No, 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 no. What do you mean? It, it's not like that at all. It's not a, it's not a game show? Game show! show. No, no it's, not a, it's not a game show, it's, it's, it's absolutely not. So the zombie apocalypse, it, that's, is that really happening or what? Well, I mean, it is like Tennessee football, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Card sharks! It's just Charlie Straw beating the <laughs> out of some sharks. Name that tune! It's probably always Boomer Sooner. <laughs> You've learned to love it. <laughs> the Biggest Loser! It's, uh, it's about the Big East. It's just about the Big East every time. Cash Cab! Something, 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 Auburn, something. Cash Cab, Auburn. Beal or no Beal? Brett Bielema, through a series of mental challenges, has to win a briefcase containing a wadded up and bound and gagged Jessica Beal. <gasps> it was just found at an airport. Justin Timberlake just like left it there. It's like he doesn't even care. It's like they don't even have a relationship. It's a shame. She's so talented. Beer Factor! Where Brett Bielema wants you to tell him if you want to watch him drink another beer? The answer is he does, and he does not give a shit what you think. Fuck you, America. Where in the world is Brett Beal? He's at the beer. Where in the world is Dana Holgerson? You don't even want to know. <laughs> we could play a round of Password with playoff formats Jim Delaney endorses, and the clue, of course, would be all. All of them. Are you smarter than a fifth grade? And what we have is a sad 
moment, the biggies. Time has run out. We need another spot and someone has to go. Adios, muchacho. Whoa, it's a savage world, but we need a new contestant. Pack 12, come on down! Yeah! Woo! Holy cow pies, where'd that guy come from? I don't know. I don't like science. I just put my pants. Base. <laughs> Our first item, everybody, we're gonna get our things off to a big bang with a new car! Yeah! Todd Graham in it. Big will start with the Big Ten. I realize Todd Graham could take over any of my programs at any point. Probably already has. One golden doubloon. Bidding goes to the Mac. <laughs> to the SEC. I will wager $20 and a KFC double down. <laughs> to the Big 12. Ah, uh, you know, money is no object. I'm on, I'm a bid. 12 oil rigs and a solid diamond set of spurs. Can we get an actual cash value on that? That'll be uh, billions of dollars plus six. He doesn't even know. To the Pac-12. What? What was that? The bidding to you for mm -hmm. one new car with Todd Graham in it. Ooh, ooh, uh, 47 big coins, 23 Facebook tokens, and 37 trillion gigarbonons. Beans. And you've all over a bit. Cash value of 33 cents. Man, I thought I had that one. Our next item up, everybody. <laughs> one spanking new Lloyd Carr! I love spanking. <laughs> he's grumpy, he's frumpy, and he's ready to be yours for what price? Bidding again goes to the Big Ten. Well, Lloyd Carr, perhaps the third or fourth greatest coach in the history of college football. I'm gonna bid two, one golden doubloon. To the SEC. Oh, that's me! That's you, Come on now. We're on TV. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's I all right. moved out right there. You're so pretty, it don't matter. I know, I know, I know. Okay, well I think you were way off, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say, I'm going to bid a mint julep, uh, but it's going to be inside William Faulkner's skull. You can suck it right out of there. To the Big 12! Well, I think I'm going to bid, I went too high last time, so I'm going to bid an above ground swimming pool full of queso. That's, that's it. That's, <laughs> it's got to be worth a lot, right? And to the Pac-12! Seventy-eight thousand orangutan dots. Ooh. And the answer is you ball over bid because man. technically Lloyd Carr is priceless and not for sale. He's a man that is absolutely play. correct. That's I will not agree. fair. I will agree. It was a trick question. Mm -hmm. Our third item for sale and probably our most valuable yet. Ooh. For sure. The brand new carrier dome. It's a carrier dome. It's not air conditioned, but it can be yours for what price, though? Does anyone want to begin bidding on the carrier? I'll take it. I'll take it. I want the whole thing. Whatever, Whatever table. Bidding tonight. The Showcase Showdown's ultimate item, the final piece. It would be the Rose Bowl! <laughs> what do I have to bid? I think he's on that bath salt. Yeah, I'm kidding. he's crazy. How much can I bid? The bidding begins with the Big Ten. I will bid all of it to the SEC. Well, I have something very special to bid. 
a big old delicious home cooked bucket full of I do not give a f You know what? I'm gonna bid 10 of them buckets so I don't give a f <laughs> That says he didn't give a f Mm hmm. In Moonglish. Moonies. And the answer is. Correct! For the Big Ten! Come on down here, the proud owner and the granddaddy of them all! <laughs> and like granddaddy, he dead. <laughs>